Hey guys, it's Simon here from OneTechStuff.net and in this build, uh, in this video, we will have a look at the new Office Beta app or better said, the Get Office Beta app which is pre-installed uh, on Windows 10. Microsoft has rolled out the new Beta app yesterday with the new build of Windows 10 4971 and it can be used now by Windows Insiders on the fast string. So let's have a look at it. Uh, you can find the app if you go to start and here in the app list you can find it um, and simply start it. Uh, the as you can see, the new Office Get Office Beta app doesn't have a full screen feature yet. Maybe it will be implemented in the future, we will see. On the top right here, you have your account settings. You can change your photo, which will bring you to your website. Um, you can click on About Me, which will bring you to the Microsoft website as well. Account settings, um, which will bring you to your account, where you have a sort of overview um, of your Office 365 subscription, for example, if you do have one. Um, you can see on how much PCs you have installed it and you can switch to the mobile apps or as I said, you can install them from here. Um, you can also um, get additional OneDrive storage or additional Skype minutes. Um, of course, Microsoft is promoting their own services here in this app, but it's it's very um, nicely designed so it doesn't really um, annoy you or anything if you use the app. Um, one more thing, you can switch accounts so if you have another Office 365 account or another school or work account you can add it here so that you have um, a valid Office subscription. Underneath you get recent documents um, if you go on show more it will bring you to the documents menu here on the left you can see a list of recent documents here which goes back to several months as you can see and you also have the office applications here which you have currently installed if you go to more it brings you to the programs tab um, where you can see all your office applications which are installed uh, as well here is Skype promoted once again you can install it right from the office app um, which brings you to the download website. Uh, you can also install, for example, Wunderlist or Sway. And the Office mobile apps, which are available for Windows 10 Mobile, Apple's iOS operating system and Google's Android operating system. Um, it will bring you once again to a website. So, um, you have all these four menus. Um, we do have help and training as well, where you get a few first steps how you can get started with Office 365. And you can submit some feedback if you want to. You can send a smiley. Um, then you can include a screenshot of the current screen where you are in the Office app. Um, implement uh, or add a small message, short message, and submit it. Um, the same works in different uh, direction for sending a phone. Uh, you can also implement a screenshot here. You can implement a short message and submit the feedback. You can also suggest new features. Um, that works via the user voice website for Office. Um, there you can submit new uh, features, what do you like, would you want to see in future versions of the Get Office beta app? Um, and last but not least, uh, about the app here. Um, yesterday, Microsoft promoted the app as version 2.0. Here you can see the current version number. Um, yeah, that's it actually. Um, it's a pretty nice app, works pretty well. Um, one annoying thing is, and this was here before in the normal Get Office app, and now it's in the beta. You do have a lot of links to websites. Um, it's not a not it's not directly an app. It's just it's a collection of links, and that's a bit annoying. Um, 
If you click, uh, for example, on mobile apps, it will simply open your browser. If you click on manage installs, it will open your browser. Um, there isn't much implemented um, in the app itself. You don't have, you don't get a lot of functions with the app. Um, it's 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 definitely uh, more helpful than the app before. But I think there is plenty of room to Microsoft to even improve it, to make it really helpful. But apart from that, um, the design is pretty nice and yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good actually. I like it more than the app before. Yeah, so uh, that's it actually. Drop us a comment below with your thoughts on the new app. Um, let me know if you have used the app already or if you think it's, it's completely um, useless. Stay tuned for more videos on the latest build of Windows 10 and Windows 10 Mobile and have a look at our website, wantex.net. Thanks for watching.